Here we're going to open Firefox. Go to Google. We'll type in Lava Soft. Add Aware. Hit Enter or click Search. You want to find one, make sure your URL says you're going to LavaSoft because some of them aren't. And they'll actually ask you for a username, email address, and whatnot. And you shouldn't have to do that. So make sure you're at the LavaSoft site. We're going to click download for the 2007 free version. I'll put a link to this site in the video description. It'll take you right to it. You want to save the file. If you're not using Firefox, you might get a slightly different window here. But you still get an option to open or save. You want to save the file. And in Firefox, I'll pro I have it programmed to save in my downloads. Uh, if you're using Firefox, it may be programmed to save somewhere else. It's a 20 megabyte file, so it may take a while to download. Okay, once the download's finished, you can either click open and open it from here, or go to wherever you saved it and double click on that file. That's the one you're looking for. And if you can't remember where you saved it, type that word into the search, and uh, it should find it for you. That gives you the option whether you want to English or French. I'll click Next on the first screen. You have to accept the license agreement. You can put anything you want in here. And you can choose whether you want anyone who uses the computer to have access to it or just you. And you can go standard installation and advanced installation. Most time when you're installing something, you should go to advanced and at least see what it's offering. And what's that? Uh, we want we want add aware to start when the computer starts. We don't want it to scan at startup. We want to scan when we want to. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for that scan to complete every time you start your computer. And you don't want to start add a watch add watch because uh, that's not free you have to pay for that and click next click next again click next again let it install let's see it says you want to register your plus or pro versions and you can enter the serial number this is if you purchased it but for now for these purposes we're going to use the free version and the free version is perfectly fine it works great so we're going to click pre version click finish add a world start automatically real time protection is off because we didn't tell it to scan when we first start up and you want automatic update off otherwise it'll bug your air all the time so we'll leave everything set the way it is we'll hit scan now you want to do a smart scan um, if you're going away or you're not going to be on the computer for a while you can do a full scan but that takes a long time to complete and you can actually schedule a scan if you leave your computer on you can schedule it for like three in the morning or whatever We'll hit scan. And this is going to be fast forwarded to the end. This will actually take about 15 minutes. Okay, the critical objects. It happened it didn't find any. Privacy objects. It found some tracking cookies. Um, just put a check mark in the main box and it'll it'll uh, pick up all of them automatically for you. Click on remove and they're all gone. You can view the log file. 
Once it's done, click Finish. You can view your quarantine and ignore list. Your quarantine. There's your ignore list. If you accidentally put one in here, you can click on it and delete it from your ignore list and it'll pick it up next scan. There's the ad watch, which is not free. Your web updates, settings. I find pretty much all the default settings are pretty good and probably best if you uh, leave them the way they are or if you want to go in here and play with different options just remember the way it was before you started.